What's up YouTube, my name's Charlie. I haven't been on this channel before, but Kevin and David are really good friends of mine, so um, they're letting me post this. Uh, we're about to go pick up an alternator for my dad's Honda Civic, and um, on, that, on the way I'm gonna tell you how, uh, about a story on how I sold my O2 Maxima on Craigslist. So in June, um, I wanted to get rid of my Maxima. I had finally fixed it to where it wouldn't break down. I figured someone else could use it. Um, I was asking $3,000 originally, but I ended up selling it for $2,500. And the thing is, the car was on Craigslist for about 15 days or so before someone actually texted me about it. And when they texted me, I was on vacation. So when I, come, when I came back, um, they wanted to come see the car, so I let them. So we met at a um, in a grocery store parking lot, and I, we, they pull up, and I'm with my mom and my friend Tony, and they pull up, and there's like three or four people that get out of the car. Like she brought her whole family, and um, honestly, I didn't have a really big problem with that, but um, <clears throat> you know, it's it's kind of weird, at least for me. I never experienced that before. And um, they they get out and they're like hi how are you I'm like hi and they're really uh, they're really chill uh, and they want to look at the car obviously so I open the door and I let them look at the interior and look at the outside and the Maxima was gold with black rims so it looked really good like I did a really nice job tooting my own horn on. Uh, doing the plastic dip on the rims and painting the calipers red. Yeah, I know, ricer. Uh, but they liked it and they thought it was cool. I'll shut this, because you probably can't hear me. But um, they thought it was cool and, you know, they, they wanted to look at the engine again, obviously. So I opened the engine and I had already listed on Craigslist all the fixes and stuff that I've done to the car already so they they knew all that and they looked at it and they thought it was good and I thought it was good you know it's a good car it was I never had any problems after I fixed everything you know and it was running great um, then they wanted to take it for a test drive and this is where I think they went wrong um, if they didn't really like the car they should have test drove it more because all they did was the guy that came with her not the guy who wanted to buy the car the girl wanted to buy the car the guy uh, he drove it around the parking lot at about 10 miles an hour 10 miles an hour okay and if you want to know if a car has any problems you do more than 10 miles an hour you floor it whatever swerve all over the road and they didn't do that they just kind of drove it around the parking lot and the guy said okay it looks good to me I was like okay that works so that happened and they wanted the car and they were like so we're gonna go try and get a loan we're gonna try and get approved for a loan and so they did and a week, about a week later uh, we met again and um, they brought the they brought the check with them and this is where it gets kind of dicey sometimes people can cancel checks and stuff uh, but this was one from the bank to them and then I could cash it if she wrote it out to me so that's what we did I exchanged the title um, and I also had a paper that said the car is sold as is and that's a very important part for this next part of the story and uh, so we got the check I went with my mom to the bank and we tried to cash it they needed to come to the bank so we finally waited for them to come to the bank and they came to the bank and everything went smoothly I got my money and everything else and <clears throat> then um, everything was cool they took the car it ran fine um, and about a month later which is around this time frame where this video will be posted um, <clears throat> I I bought a new car, which is the one I'm in now. It's got leather seats. He loves it. You know, toot my own horn once again. Anyway, um, they, I bought a Mazda 3 hatch, okay? And I was, I'm living the life, man. I love this car. It's great. And I'll do a review soon. But um, they texted me this morning. 
and they said, well, actually, a couple weeks ago, I'm going to back up just real quick. A couple weeks ago, they texted me, and they said, the car is overhe overheating. The car is not overheating. It's a temperature gauge. I'm telling you that. I figured that out myself. Then now, back to here now, time frame right now. Um, now, it's going to get a little bumpy. I'm going to go over railroad tracks. Um, they texted me this morning, and they said, the car is going to cost me over $3,000 in repairs, and if... Even if I do that, the motor's going to blow. First of all, no, bitch, you're stupid, okay? Um, I've done plenty of repairs to that car. I've driven the shit out of it, beat the fuck out of it, and it was fine. It did not give me any problems whatsoever. And, you know, it's just it kind of it's kind of annoying. Um, uh, the car was sold as is, so I have the paper to prove it, and you're texting me about something that you need to take care of it's your car it's not mine anymore I don't have the title and <clears throat> this is why this is why I really don't like Craigslist maybe uh, people have had worse experiences but you know um it's whatever honestly it's kind of stupid that she would text me and say that because it's her car again and you know I don't have a problem I never had a problem with the car, and I don't have a problem with her, but texting me about your car is dumb. I can't do anything for you. I'm not going to do anything for you. i got a car payment now. And that's what you get for buying a $2,500 car off Craigslist, you know? You're not going to get dealership quality with a warranty and everything. And it's just kind of ridiculous that um, people think that you owe them something. Uh, they bought the car from you, and... I sold it as is. The car had no problems when I sold it. I swear to God, it never had a problem when I sold it. And because I drove it for about a month and the engine light never came on or anything else. Apparently, she drives it home and the engine light came on and everything else. And it's just, it was, it's not a bad experience, but it's not a good experience either. So, I, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. I, I just think it's kind of fucking stupid that she expects me to fix it or she blames me and wants me to feel guilty because she bought a car off Cra Craigslist for $2,500 and expected it to be brand new. So um, again, thanks for watching uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed.